the recovery of the European economy is progressing at a faster pace than expected in the spring, although growth will somewhat slow down in the second half of the year. This gives reason for cautious optimism despite a more uncertain global environment and the forecasts for economic growth are therefore revised upwards while the inflation outlook is largely unchanged. In other words, we have now solid ground under our feet. We have started scoring again, but there is no reason to shout for victory. Instead, we must remain alert and vigilant in the face of the remaining uncertainties. Of course, I am worried about the future of the European economy and the situation in the countries you referred to. While we have turned the corner and we have now stronger ground under our feet, we still have substantial uncertainties, both due to external developments in, in global trade uh, as well as uh, internal challenges uh, related to the sovereign debt uh, and uh, financial markets. Having said this, uh, we have uh, been able to calm down the financial markets to, some, to an extent, uh, of course not completely, and that's never achieved completely, but uh, to some extent uh, by the very determined uh, measures uh, taken for instance, uh, by the Greek uh, government. Uh, and uh, it is uh, essential that uh, Greece uh, will maintain this uh, rigor of uh, fiscal consolidation as well as uh, pursue serious uh, structural reforms uh, in line with the EU and uh, IMF uh, program which uh, Greece uh, has been implementing